this on, on these, on the conifer type tree, I use this stuff. It's a furnace filter. Uh, up here we have forced air, uh, forced air furnaces. Okay, it comes in blue. Uh, I've seen green and browns too. I think uh, again Walmart uh, has has brown stuff. This stuff here I, I get from Canadian Tire because it seems to be a cheaper price and it, it it's uh, easier to separate. Okay, so this is what I do with the piece of blue. Is I start you know peeling off little pieces of it. Okay, separating it in half. And you get uh, kind of nice little branch type pieces, okay? And those you simply just slide down on your dowel, okay? And you keep doing that. So usually what I'll do is I'll make a big pile of these things first, and then I'll start putting them on my pile. There's a pre pile, okay? And you just keep sliding, and you want little pieces too. You don't want really big ones, okay? So sometimes what I'll do is I'll, you know, I'll alternate a, a little one with a, a big one and then a big one with a little one. And the other thing you want is, I don't know if you can tell, but you can see there's white space in there. If you look at one of the trees, I would show you a picture of the trees, but here in uh, BC we have pretty much lost all our pine trees. A stupid pine beetle here has come through and here in my town uh, we've lost... 95%, 90% of all our pine trees, they just de dead, dead red, dead red, and you know, the city had to come along and help chop them down, but, so anyways, I would have been able to show you that they do have a bunch of white space in between them, okay, so you stick that on till you got a rough tree shape, and again, you don't want it perfect, you do not want a Christmas tree type effect. Unless you're making some sort of Christmas tea, tree type thingy for, you know, a dollhouse or whatever, but even then, the natural one will look way better, okay? So once you've got it on like this, I'm looking for my spray glue. Pause, okay. Anyways, I have spray, spray glues. Uh, pretend this is spray glue. This is, what is this? Clear mat. Anyways, spray it Shh, a little bit to stick the, the branches on, okay? I can't believe I left my glue inside the house. Okay, here's one that's already glued. Okay, fix it a little bit. So the, the, it, at, at this stage, and the other ones I'm going to show you too, at, at this stage they're a little bit rough, but once you've spray painted some paint on them, they'll toughen up and be... Quite, quite nice. Uh, again, looking for stuff. I got such a messy art desk here. Okay. I'm looking for a green scrubby. You know those scrubbies that you use here that you use for washing dishes with. This is the other thing I use for on, on my trees. Uh, I also use this for uh, uh, thatching on roofs works really good. Same same effect, okay? Separate it like this in half and then you can get it uh, a lot thinner, eh? Because you don't want to use one that's, what is this, three-eighths of an inch thick, eh? On a small little building that looks pretty thick for thatching, okay? So you, again, you separate it down into little pieces like this and then glue those on a cardboard roof on your piece and then paint them uh, a, a, a golden yellow, like a, what do they call it, uh, okra, so anyways, you paint it sort of a goldenish yellow color, brown, dry brush a little bit, looks really good, okay. In this case here, what we're going to do is on a lot of these pine trees, here, you look on the bottom and they've got that mossy uh, branches, little dead branches and stuff like that, so I usually put a little piece of this stuff right on the bottom of the tree and uh, it's uh, you'll find as you make these things that it's way easier to go down from the top than it is up from the bottom. So I'll just put a little bit of that on the bottom of that tree. Okay, and it looks like the dead tree beard type moss stuff that grows on these pine trees. Okay, now don't don't worry about trimming it yet. Okay, Th this one has been sprayed with glue because I would have showed you, but anyways, this one's been sprayed with glue. 
Okay. Now you want to paint paint it black. Okay. Uh, oh, hey, here's my spray glue. Okay. Cool. Anyways, this is good glue. This is uh, you can't see on there. It's 3M Super 77 spray adhesive. Okay, which I guess is not glue. It's an adhesive, but. Okay, so there, now that's stuck on there. Really expensive stuff. Uh, probably triple the price of Elmer's spray glue, eh? But, hey, it, it holds really good. Now, these, I normally spray paint black. There it is. When, once you've got them like this, spray paint them black. There's a dead burnt tree already. Don't even have to do anything with it. Okay. The other color I use is, and of course they don't have. Oh, here we go. Is good old primer. You know that brownish color primer that they use. Ah, all these cans have a marble in it. So if you shake it and you don't hear the marble, go and keep shaking until you do hear the marble, and then shake it for a little bit more. Okay, that's a tip. Don't know if you heard that, but anyways, so now I spray it with a little bit of this brown, okay? Uh, can you see that? Anyways, the black is just like when you're painting your miniatures, right? Uh, the black covers up any spots that you miss with the paint. So there's a, a dead, dead tree. Up here, this is what all the trees look like. They're all red, red, red dead, no, no, no pine needles, okay? So once this is dry, we can pretend it's dry. I use flocking, which uh, is in here. This is again from Woodland Scenics or uh, Games Workshop sells kind of a weird color green stuff, but Woodland Scenics has has nice colors and that. And then I actually I'll buy the bigger packages and I'll mix them a little bit so that you know I'll mix a little bit of black in with my green and stuff. Okay, so we've got a brown dead dead type tree with black and stuff on it. Okay, when you're putting on the flocking on these things, okay, this is kind of important. Well, the other thing. When you're working with the glue, <laughs> I didn't do this on the first one, but then I haven't, I cheated, okay? Use these cheap plastic gloves. Now, you can get rubber gloves, which are really good. They give you nice finger dexterity, but hey, face it, they're kind of expensive. So what I do is I buy those, you know, the food gloves that they use, like, let's say, at uh, sub Subway, you know, where the, the food handlers use them. You can get, uh, man, you get about 500 in a box for about two bucks, okay? So then you can just, like, I mean, I'll go through these things pretty, pretty quick. It saves on washing up because some of the stuff is hard to wash off. So anyways, back to our little pine tree here. When you're putting on the, the flocking, the green pine needles and stuff, okay, you take your glue and you spray it straight down on top, okay? And I'll, I'll show you here in a minute why. Okay, so you spray it, spray it straight down and then take your flocking, okay, and sprinkle that straight down. Bit extra on here just so you can see it in the film. Okay, wait a minute, turn it upside down and tap it off the excess. Okay, and then stick it in a piece of foam and let it dry. But there's pretty much a you know nice little pine tree. Okay, now the reason why you only spray straight down is when you look up at a tree, you'll see you can see the it's kind of hard to tell from here, but the branches you, you want you want to see brown from looking up and green when you're looking down because the needles and pine leaves they always grow towards the light hey eh? so you don't have uh, greenery underneath the branch you have it on top of the branch okay anyways the the eye will pick that up and it'll look it'll look really good okay this is why i use those gloves because now i can just throw it away and call it done and this is why i use foam on my gaming terrain type pieces or my diorama is pencil sharpener on the bottom just poke it into place and voila you got a really nice pine tree okay that's those look good those look good after it's dried a little bit you can trim it you know trim off a couple of the branches and stuff but really chaos